so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Good. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. And he lands the knee to the body now. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. And there's a takedown attempt. Big right hook there by the champ. Nice block. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow tie. Hook in the clinch there is good by Nurmagomedov. Lock him, suck him out of the suit here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself? Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. So how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Fighters back to their feet here. He's got him in the clinch once again. Oh, nice right hand from Khabib Nurmagomedov. DC, we talk so much about the wrestling and the grappling. You can't sleep on Nurmagomedov's boxing. Two minutes have gone by. Beautiful job landing that hit. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And really nice job to finish the takedown there. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. Strong reversal there. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Nurmago Medov's in half goal. All right, feet on the hips here. Both fighters back to their feet now. All single collar tie here. Shot here. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, collar tie. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Always a nice combination there. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Distance management, 101, another punch lands. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. Medov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking the No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. 
All right, late round action here on Khabib Nurmagomedov, as usual, having his way with another opponent. Just such a nuanced game on the ground. I mean, this dude is so good at using his wrestling and grappling skills to control his opponent. Look at him, he's setting up a jump now. Look at that, he's setting it up. All right, looks like that dose is tight. are back and forth with the submission defense wins this transition. Hard scramble, hard scramble. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing lost, no submission attempts, even when they get him. He continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Round two is next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only just not only just strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Jim. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get in trouble. <laughs> and there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio's so good that, is, that it allows. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Khabib's back in full mount. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. It's, it's tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Another ground and pound strike lands. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, good ground and pound here. Nice reversal on the ground, great job. Gotta find a way back to his feet. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fuck. Oh, no, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, huge left. That knee might have landed there. Nice guillotine to tip here. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Danny Cunier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. We're a baller, guys. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. All right, so another takedown for the wrestler. He hinted that he wanted to strike here tonight, but sticks with the bread and butter, and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. 
He goes forward, he level changes, and he takes you down. Once you're on the ground, he grinds you out. This is a wrestler's calling card, and he is showing you why tonight in the octagon. 90 seconds to go. He's got that single collar tie. Jab snaps the head back. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Massive elbow for the point. And they separate. Again, shoots for a takedown, not there once again. That shot blocked by the Lago Meadow. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, nice. 30 seconds to go in the round. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. 10 seconds now to go in the round. He's isolating an arm. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Last round. This round. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Khabib's in half guard. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. you got to be careful. Oh, right into Moe. Gotta be careful here. Constantly a moving target. Dominate those wrists. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out of this. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. Attempting a choke now. I think he's got it, it's deep. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, it lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the early rounds. Making all these shots count. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. He Bottom needs to fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, he misses with the left punch there. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. 
Tags him with that uppercut. Another takedown lane. Mamago Medov's in half guard now. Car working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, in good position to rip off the Kimura here. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fighting your pace. Tags him with the uppercut. Over and over, this guy's getting hit. Right in his face. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. to the single collar tie. Look at him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Single collar tie now. Not resting in the clinch. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Now he's going full mount. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. Oh, Thanks, three right. rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes ready as fight. the fights progress. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Mago Medov gets the takedown there. Side control now. Nurmago Medov's in half court. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Khabib's got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Nurmago Medov's back in side control. In the half guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Beautiful work with the knees in the clinch. Oh, lands a hip toss now. Nermago Medov's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss. Finder Mago Meadow. Nice body shot. Just over three minutes to go. Nice crack there. His left eye pretty swollen at this point. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Nurmagomedov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And there's a takedown attempt. And now the jab gets through. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the afternoon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to him right now and fired up the video to look at beauty in action. Oh, nice double there, yes. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Changing the position. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. That is tight. Oh, he's out. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. 90 seconds to go. Nice strike. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of smelling. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Nice leg kick. Able to land the left hand there. Tries to work it into a takedown. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Call it tight here in the clinch. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Final seconds. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Switch the lens for a while. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure Ready takedown fight. after takedown. Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Dramago Medov gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Block that punch. Blocks the shot there and counters with a well-placed uppercut. Right lands. Beautiful body kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Right. 
That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. Nice body kick. Gets the single leg takedown. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nice execution on the team. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Numago Medov. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Stay up, Stay up, oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Once he got him cut, he recognized where he needs to be throwing these shots, and once again, he lands right on that cut. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Oh, he's going for his arm now. It's tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Oh, that is some severe swelling. I hate to speculate, not a doctor, but you might be staring at a fractured orbital there. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of fight. He's got to find a way to finish his fight. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Just a slip there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Great timing on that double leg. Attempt. Now looks as though he's got the neck. That team is tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. Hammer fist going to town here by Nermago Meta. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done. Oh, the takedown attempt starting to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Oh, nice. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to happen. They're starting to... Oh, nice headlock. Oh, now it's getting tight. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Lands with the ground and pound. Yeah. Oh. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title.
the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. We play the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Hermano Mera. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like...